is that the relevant stencil is open. How do I do that? Go to more shapes, software and database, software and my UML activity diagram, stencil I have over here and I can select any of these two. They are both Nafsa Shai. It does not matter. So let's open US uh, UML activity diagram. Now I can see all the relative shapes. See action, state, initial state, spin plane, etc. So what you need to do is to go back and see the scenario and make sure what you want to do. At this point, this is my main focus paragraph which I am creating the use case and activity diagram for. It says customers can add multiple Etisalat accounts to their single email account which is their login account from which they log in. And how does this benefit them? For example, if the customers have multiple places registered with their names, for example, their office address, their residence address, they have one house in Abu Dhabi, another house in Ras al Khaimah maybe, both of them are registered in his name, by his name. And if he wants, he can pay for those bills using one registered online billing ID. So it's all of us know how does this happen in reality. You have seen this some examples. But let's see how we can draw the use case and activity diagrams. We have already seen the use case. Let's move forward and create the activity. This is my merge accounts use case, a very simple one. It is only available for already registered customers. A person who already have an account, an online billing account for his residence. Now he can merge one more account to his bill to his email which may be his office address or uh, residence number two address etc so let's go towards the activity diagram this is my empty diagram there's nothing over here i just opened the activity stencil the first thing i need to know is there are two people involved over here remember in our uh, uh, traffic finds scenario there was the customer who uh, the person who was actually driving the car he may committed a mukhalifa, for example, over speeded or something. So he is the first guy who gets the the the, the fine. The, the second guy in a in a traffic police fine scenario is the road and transportation authority. The third people is the, the third entity is the traffic police department. So you have to find out really how many people are involved over here, how many entities really. The first person is customer. And the second person or the entity is the system. So the swim lane, I drag and drop over here and give it appropriate names. Let's zoom in a bit. So this is who? Registered customer, not just a customer. Because we are assuming he already has an ID. I always do this. Okay. And the second entity involved is E billing system okay so i have these two people ready over here in the swim lanes and let me just adjust this so that they come very close okay My, the first activity always is this one initial state the registered customer i assume he has already gotten a login so he the customer does what? He logs in. Log into account. And we are assuming because we can find that we can add decisions over here. He has an ID, a password. If not, then reject. If he does have it, then you go forward. But we are not using it because this is only merge accounts. Login activity diagram is completely different. So first thing over here is my login to account. The second thing, the e-billing system. The e-billing system gets the account details. This is the, this is now yeah view account or gets the account details. So this will pull up, for example, how many accounts already exist and their bills. Exist last payment date etc so this guy at this 
at this stage he will get what account details only and then show the customers show the customer what he wants to do okay so let's do these connections What happened to you now? But am I not too fast? You know what I am doing this? Now I am recording this. I will upload this on YouTube. So you can pause later on because I need to finish some more things now after this. Alright, so let me connect these control flows with the decision boxes and I can remember I can have these three types of connectors. It can be just a straight line, it can be curved, or it can be a rectangle. Personally, I prefer rectangle because it is it is very clear when you are actually looking at a complex diagram. The, the, the rectangle is very clear, the, the right angle I mean. Okay, so now I have a decision box. This decision box, from here the customer can select. He wants to merge. Maybe he wants to merge an account which already is there, he forgot. So he will close down. Okay, something like this. So let's give him a decision. If he wants, then we will move forward and we will create a merged account. We will merge his account to the existing one. Yeah, we can say yes. So we create a new state. We give it a name. Add new Itisalat account. And we can write some description over here. This will merge new Itisalat account to the current email online billing email account. Okay. So I write down that description. Add new Etisalat. So this will add the new Etisalat account, or if you want, you can call it merge also. No, and then the system will verify. You see, when you go to the registration, the this one, the register, the system has to do something. Yes, the system has to do the registration of the account first. Once this is completed, then send us these two things. Okay. So let's move forward. Create an activity for the system. Add a merge new account. Into the existing online billing email account okay once you have done that just create the connection between them and you know when you create the connection you have to make sure the red you know this red side circle is there this means it will attach itself or it will glue itself to this box later on wherever you move this it will move with this box so you have to make sure the red circle comes there the next step is what can you help me send sms exactly send sms and then final state and you connect the control flows together you have got the diagram almost ready except that if the user does not want to do a merge what will he or she do okay. he or she will finish because this is merge you will finish this you cannot do like change password you cannot do make payment etc over here because that is not what we are covering over here in this diagram this diagram if you read the name is only for merge accounts there are no other options displayed over here and 
this is another option first option let's give it some name add if the customer chooses to add a merge new account we come here if the customer chooses to exit or stop he can come over here and this will finish let's save this <coughs> 